making regulation simple, not for the Pope, but for the insurance industry. Watch Kobe Analytics video with me. My first thought was, also, I have no idea what he's doing, but I'm absolutely convinced that he definitely knows what he's talking about. The Smile uh, tool that Covey Analytics are developing is a single platform that captures all of these regulatory initiatives and changes and allows the organization to make sure that it manages its compliance risk in one single platform. And to me, I think that is a significant uh, advancement in, in practice in terms of making sure that globally these firms comply with the ever-changing um, regulatory initiatives that, uh, that are coming out from the policymakers. Kobe makes complex things simple and boring subjects exciting. Well, in a world where fintech is really the talking point among financial service organizations, uh, Kobe Analytics offers the smile proposition, which I think will introduce a significant tool to facilitate how organizations comply with uh, global regulation. And it's not just about complying with these new standards, it's about how the compliance function, the risk function, and other parts of the business can communicate in one platform. Cutting edge technology meets know-how and passion. Compliance. What image comes to your mind when you hear the word compliance? I see Ben, CRO at Westlife. Ben is responsible for answering all the hard questions from the regulator. To stay on top of this, he pays expensive lawyers and consultants to help him understand the complex regulation and has teams of people internally whose only job is to tick boxes, to keep the regulator happy. And Ben is not alone. UK insurers spent three billion getting ready for the new insurance regulation, Solvency II. And they're expected to spend another 1.5 billion to implement Solvency II into the business. We at Kobe Analytics are making compliance simple. My name is Walid and I'm the founder of Covey Analytics. I've been helping insurers understand and implement Solvency II for the last eight years, two of which I spent as a regulator transposing Solvency II into UK law. So I understand how complicated the regulation can get. And this is where it all begins. Regulation lives in far too many documents. Finding and managing the rules that apply to you quickly gets out of hand. And that's when you seek external help. We are replacing all this with a single search box, changing the way insurers explore and manage regulation like never seen before. You know what? Let me show you. Let's see what the regulation says about audit. Easily switch between different levels of regulation and visually see where things live. Let's take a closer look. This looks relevant. Let's add it to our collection and define what it means for our business. Share these collections with others, building a consensus within the business. We just interacted with 1,800 pages of dry legal text living in 23 different documents. Meet Smile, our Google for compliance. 
the problem continues in how people manage compliance, often through custom-built systems or spreadsheets, all interlinked with more spreadsheets, replicated for each team. Not only is this costly, but not only is this costly, but it also exposes you to operational risk, potentially leading to regulatory fines, rating downgrades, or damage to reputation. We are simplifying all this. Improving the transparency and engagement with this information, and we are automating the ongoing compliance by reusing the reports that you produce for the regulators today. And all this is available to insurers on a monthly subscription basis through our SaaS model. Our competitor landscape consists of advisory firms that help insurers understand and navigate the regulation, and software vendors that provide specialist tools addressing specific parts of the compliance process. We are unifying the entire compli compliance value chain, breaking down the silos. COVI is quick to deploy, easy to use, and makes compliance intuitive. Currently, there are 380 UK insurers struggling under the weight of regulation, collectively spending 200 million each year on compliance. We want to help them first. By 2018, we will widen our scope to include the European insurers. And our 2020 vision is to go global, simplifying compliance for insurers in other regimes, starting with China. And we are the team to do that. We are already friends, so I'll skip my intro. Alexander, a physicist by background, knows all about human digital interaction. We've also surrounded ourselves with mentors and advisors who provide us with insight and challenge. Jens, an ex Accenture consultant, knows all about building SaaS solutions. And Neil, the lead system architect at Hotels.com, keeps an eye on our tech. Three months ago, we started with a clear vision of what simplified compliance looked like. In late February, we launched a private beta for Smile, our Google for Compliance. Direct Line Group liked it so much that they're using it today. And a mid-tier GI insurer loved what we were doing with automation of compliance. Our pilot with them starts next month. We're also exploring quicker routes to market by partnering up with consultants. We're in discussions with five large consultancies, including PwC. And to get us there, we are raising 350K, most of which will be used to scale Team Covey, so we can help more people like Ben, who no longer worries about compliance with Covey by his side. For Ben, compliance is simple, requires 60% less resources, and most importantly, he has a robust approach to staying compliant, so the regulator treats him like an adult. So if you are Ben, or if you know a Ben, come speak with us to see how we're making the complex simple and compliance fun.